Hello friends, Matthew is here and today for our beginner English listening practice I picked up a very popular and um, challenging subject which is recycling. We will listen to a voice about unboxing waste. Okay, let's get started. Well, and you're listening to Learning English with CBC. This week, a story about all of that gift wrapping and packaging that many Canadians have bought and used over the holidays, and how to figure out what can be recycled. Zara Premji from CBC Edmonton brings us this story about the environmental impact of the holidays. At this time of year, more toys and gifts are bought and then all of those gifts are wrapped in even more packaging. And it's not just the wrapping paper and bows, but also the cardboard and twist ties that hold the toys together in their perfect store packages. The city of Edmonton says there is twice as much waste in the two weeks right after the holidays. Zara Premji spoke to Courtney Powell, who started a company called Elevated Enviro, and he explains what items can be recycled and what cannot. Powell explains that some plastic can be recycled, but only certain kinds or grades of plastic, and the different grades of plastic cannot be mixed together. Some plastic does not have a stamp to show which grade of plastic it is. If plastic grades are all mixed together, the plastic material will end up in the landfill and not being recycled at all. Powell says that a lot of the plastic used in packaging ends up in oceans and landfills. He says it is important to know which packaging is used for toys to know if it can be recycled or not. Zara Premji explains that it can be difficult to figure out how to recycle plastic and other packaging. So, it is a good idea when you're choosing toys and gifts to choose those which have the least amount of packaging of any kind. Zara Premji and Courtney Powell took five different toys out of their boxes to see how much of the packaging would be okay for the recycling and how much would be garbage. They were surprised to see that as much of the packaging would be garbage as recycling. Powell explains that even the packaging that can go to the recycling may not be better for the environment because those recyclable materials, like cardboard and paper, take a lot of resources to make them in the first place. Uh, thank you for listening. It was a very interesting topic. I didn't uh, know some of the explanation in this voice. Okay, let's uh, get back and get, get back to the voice and just try... Um, Practice and write a wrong sentence here to find out how much we got from the voice and from the text. And number one, during the holidays, many toys and gifts are bought and wrapping in packaging. Uh, it must be, I think the wrapping is wrong because it must be passive, are bought and wrapped. Okay, let's pick up this one and check. Yeah, this is wrapped. Number two, the toys themselves are packaged in cardboard and plastic to look recycled on the store shelf. Okay, to look perfect, not, not recycled. Yeah, that's right. Number three. In the two weeks right before the holidays, there is twice as much waste in Edmonton. It wasn't before, it was after holiday. Yeah, that's right. Number four. Courtney Powell started a company, Elevated Enviro, that will help people know what material can be recycled. I think this one is correct. Yeah, that's right. Number five, plastic that cannot be recycled will start out in the garbage and maybe even in the ocean. 
uh, it's not a start out, it must be end up. Yeah, end up. Number six. Zara Premji says it is a good idea to choose a gift with the average amount of packaging. Actually, she said with the minimum or least, the least amount of packaging. At the least, yeah, that's right. Number seven. Premji and Powell were angry to see that the garbage from the packaging of five toys was equal to the material that can be recycled. Actually, they weren't angry, they were surprised. Yeah, that's right. And number eight. Even toys that can be recycled, like uh, cardboard, take a lot of resources to make. Shoppers should think about the packaging when they shop. Uh, a lot of resources to make. Yeah, I think that one is right. Oh no, sorry. Uh, even materials, not toys. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us for this practice. I will be back soon with another tutorial. Have a good time.